Yes, yeah, so welcome to Vasily's Garden, folks. Well, it's that time of season. Sowing tomatoes and capsicums, I am. Now, I did my big malak as a first batch. And out of 198, uh, there's about 20 that haven't germinated. So it's not a bad hit on that one there. And they're all coming along really well. We'll show you them later in another segment. But for now, we're going to show you another set. Well, we're going to sow another uh, batch of tomatoes. And what I've got here, this is a 32 cell tray. It's a larger tray. Um, and I, I reckon these are better long term for sowing tomatoes in because they need they have a bigger root ball and they need that space to be able to grow in and i'm using the planting mix again you can see all the rice hull in there all the spent rice hull which is part of the aeration now this planting mix has got all that compost in it it's got our black grid it's got um, a little bit of cow manure charcoal in it and it's a really good mix for sowing seeds for planting in pots and even in the garden bed as you can see in the background despite the weather being pretty harsh and cold down here still plants are doing pretty okay i reckon we're eating every day. As long as we're eating and they're healthy and we're healthy, we're happy. Now, sowing, I filled these 32 cell trays and I've put a label there. So I'm putting gross lists. I've got, our, these are our seeds, by the way, what we have online and we've got them on special this week for two bucks a packet. That's posted as well. So that's, that's dirt cheap. We're literally giving you seeds for free. Just organizing the packaging and the posting for you so if you haven't got any seeds take advantage of it there are, it's going to expire the sale on friday uh, and there's an array of seeds and you can actually get better prices when you buy in in multi-packs so the gross lease is going in here 10 and then we've got one two three four eight nine ten i know this is a bit awkward uh, this is a mini samazano that's going in this batch there gross lease in there so you can get an idea and then the money maker is going in here in this tent and the last two I'm not going to sow in so I've got 30 plants and for the life of me I'm not going to be sure where I'm going to plant them but we're going to build some more beds so as the season progresses we'll have more beds so we can plant more varieties now across here we've got the 72 cell tray not the big trays that I'm using as you saw with my big malakas these are the uh, thinner trays where we can we sell uh, but only by pickup because they're really impossible to post because the postage is horrendous uh, so if you're in the local vicinity you're welcome to come and pick some of these up purchase some of these are really cheap or your local garden center should have them as well as a mini hothouse so they're quite effective and efficient and an efficient way to to grow your own seeds you can do them in seed trays and I think I've got a seed tray somewhere. Let me give you this one for an example. These are just old onions that I never planted out. See this seed tray? You can take out the punnets or you can even sow in these punnets directly as well. But you can use a planting mix directly into that and just sprinkle your seeds all over. And when they germinate, you've just got to be careful when you separate them so they don't get tangled up too much with um, their root ball. So that's another way because a lot of you do have um, empty punnets and it's good to recycle them rather than just tossing them out. Or otherwise, get yourself a 32 cell or a 72 cell or a 32 cell tray as we got here and sow a seed individually in each cell. And what we're planting in here, we've just taken these off the shelf, hot burritos. There's 10 of those. Oh, there's 20 of these, long cayenne. Um, and I wish I had my glasses on. This is Marconi Red. And I've also got, here they are, these are long red. So one of your darlings, gardeners out there, drop these off for me. There's a heap in here. Long red. Now I'm not sure if they're hot. They're like a bullhorn or a sweet one. We're going to find out when they grow. So we're sowing those in there. I've filled the trays. So step one is filling the trays, whether you're using our planting mix or something else. Step two is saying hello to Cara. How are you, girl? That's it. And step three is make sure that you don't press the soil down. I'll do an example of what I mean here. I haven't compacted the soil, so if I press down, see how soft it is? Even the table's gone down. But that's gone right down there because it's nice and fluffy. And you want it to stay fluffy so that the seed can easily germinate. You've got good airflow because when you do water it, it will carefully and naturally sink on its own. But just enough so it compacts without taking the, the air out of the uh, mix itself. And that way the roots grow more freely and it germinates a lot quicker. So let's start with the tomatoes. These are easier. What you see here, I'm not actually putting a dimple in the soil. I'm just dropping it on top on the surface. And then once I've done that, then we'll press it down lightly. You can also sprinkle a little bit more soil over the top or you can use cocoa pith just to cover them over. 
But for example, see how I've got them sitting there now on the surface? All you need to do is just push it down lightly and cover it over like that. Nothing, nothing extravagant, nothing too difficult. See that? Just gently push it down. You don't want to bury it too deep. It's just going to take a lot longer to germinate. And the capsicums are done as well, folks, and chilies we've got here. Now, as I said, you can just gently push it down. We'll start from here, like that, and just sprinkle a little soil over the top. Don't have to bury it too deep. It'll help it germinate a lot quicker. Like that there, there's a bit of rice hole in the way, but it'll find its way through. Now, you can do these and keep them inside on a windowsill if you like. Uh, some in warm, so they get a little bit of light, and they don't need direct sunlight whilst they're still um, going through the germination stages, but they need to have warm soil, so a heat mat is ideal. These, these trays here are perfect for the heat mats by comparison to these seedling trays. So the heat mat itself uh, is exactly this length there. It's about 50 centimetres. I think they're about 30 or 35 or something like that. Uh, you can still put these ones on there, obviously, and that will keep the temperature nice and warm. So you want to, if you've got a thermostat, you can set it to around 22 to 24 degrees, and that way you'll guarantee the soil is going to sit around 19 degrees at least. And that's what you need, the soil temperature to be up high enough for them to germinate quicker. And once they germinate, if you haven't got grey lights and they're inside, you want to get them outside to give them some sunlight to harden them off. It's vital that they actually harden off, and I just wrecked that. Uh, these little tags are very delicate too, folks. I just knocked that over there. But what we've done here, so you know that this row here has got no seeds at all. So even if I did that or that, it won't matter because these little cells, we're not sowing in there. We're keeping the rows on that side there. Taking them outside, they get to harden off and that way they don't become long and lanky looking. They're nice and sturdy and you've got a nice strong stem on them as well. But make sure to bring them back inside once the sun's gone or the temperature starts to drop like now. It's about eight degrees out here. It's still really cold. It got up to about 12 degrees today. So these won't really germinate if I leave them outside or even in the little makeshift hothouse that I've got over there. Uh, the heat mat will work, keep them warm and the sun will be the biggest factor here for them once they germinate. You can start them off with a little bit of liquid gold at half strength, just nice and light, just a light sprinkle over the top. I haven't got my bottle top sprinkler here with me. I've got to walk about 200 metres to the other shed to get it, because I use it everywhere and I should have a bottle everywhere. Uh, and that's a great way to water them. So using, using a watering wand or a watering can, it can be a little bit heavy, the water droplets. So you want to use something very light and the bottle top sprinklers are the best way I find to hydrate the soil or the mix that you're using without dislodging the seed or disturbing the plant too much or at all. So press them in, get your seeds organized. If you haven't got them already, go online because you're going to get a lot. There's a huge array of seeds available uh, for the spring that are only two bucks a packet delivered to your door. Can you imagine that? Well, I know a lot of you have already taken advantage of that because I'm preaching to the converted. I know, but there's still an opportunity for you to stock up if you need to. And then start sowing your seeds because we're going to have a big hot summer ahead, I believe. If they're forecasting hot weather, expect hot weather. Yes, folks, I went for the walk and got my bottle top sprinkler. As you can see, this is how I'm watering them. See how the soil's sinking as I add the water to it? That's what will happen each time you add water. It'll just keep compacting slowly and slowly. And not enough to suffocate the seed but enough to get rid of the air pockets that are too large. And that's what you want to do. So get yourself some bottle top sprinklers if you're going to start growing your own seeds. And that's what I reckon everybody should be doing. And if you can't, at the end of the day, all the good garden centers will have a good array of seedlings for you to be able to purchase and take home and plant straight into your garden. But it's a lot of fun when you start germinating your own folks. And this is what I love doing the most as well. Bottle top sprinklers and seeds are available on our website, vasiliesgarden.com. Check them out while they're on special from Eva Silly, Maresi.